Girl, you have to get up. You gonna have to get up. You gonna have to get up because nobody is coming to save you. And I am learning this lesson as I'm getting older, as I am embarking on different experiences in life, different journeys, learning different things. And it's frustrating when you feel like you're not where you want to be, but yet you feel like you've done all of this work to get to a place that you thought you would be, but you're not there. And then when you really sit with yourself and reflect over the choices you've made, over the mentality that you had, over, you know, the way you responded or dealt with things, you may come to realize that, you know what, I may have a role to play in me being where I'm at today. I think that sometimes we feel like things are supposed to just magically happen. I think that we expect that we'll one day wake up to our dream life or, you know, things will just all work itself out. And yeah, maybe in certain circumstances, maybe in certain situations, but when it comes to your everyday reality, you have to get up and make the life happen. You have to get up and make your reality happen. You have to get up and do the work. My problem was I was too much in my feelings. I was too in my feelings. I'm such a feelings type of girl. I'm such a let's process these feelings out type of girl. I'm a whole therapist for crying out loud. I can find myself sulking in my emotions. I can find myself just sitting in my sadness, my depression, my anger, my stress to the point where I end up finding ways to cope that are not necessarily the most healthiest or you know not necessarily the things that I want to actually cope with um and then I wake up a month later frustrated that I'm still in the same place but it's like girl did you think soaking in your feelings was going to magically like change your situation did you think that going off on such and such or whoever it is that pissed you off or made you angry, did you think that that was going to solve the problem of what you're really feeling on the inside? You're not happy with where you at. You're not happy with what you got going on in your life. You're not happy with the way your life is set up. And, you know, vulnerably speaking, I feel like I've been here for a long time just in this in this stuck place in the same place but it's like girl like you have to get up and do the work you got to get up and do the work you can't sit here and hope and pray that a prince charming will come and save the day and you know what that is probably some special girl some lucky girl's reality right now just living her life and then boom a man comes and saves her day but that is not likely for the most of us most of us actually have to get up and make something happen. And I was just talking to my homegirl about this because I was just frustrated with, you know, a situation in my life. And I was just explaining to her, like, bro, I just don't understand, like, why such and such was talking to me like this and treat me like this. And such and such, this person don't care. And they acting like they do. And da -da 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 -da, and this person this and this person that. And then I had to realize, I'm like, gee you're too emotionally invested and involved in the little matters and things that don't even really matter and this is a, this has been a pattern for you this has been a pattern for you your whole life like your whole life you are overly emotional or overly invested in trying to solve a problem that honestly is not that big of a fucking deal you know what i'm saying instead of you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to hash things out with people or work things out or solve problems. But my issue is that I feel like you need to feel me. <laughs> You're going to have to feel me. And sometimes people don't even deserve that. I feel like you got to keep your energy and let the energy out on the camera. Let the people that really feel you hear, you what, hear what you got to say. So you doing all this whining and crying. When you can really put the energy into your purpose, when you can really put the energy into the work that you need to do.
take that pain and that anger and that sadness and depression and put it into the work that you know you need to do. You talking about, I hate where I'm at. I hate my job. I hate living at home. I hate the people I'm around. I'm, I hate this part of my, I hate this. I hate that. Okay, well then get up and do something about it. Get up and do something about it, mamas. I realized I was sabotaging my own success. I'm sabotaging my own happiness. I'm sabotaging my own freedom. I'm sabotaging the life that I want because I am allowing the enemy to distract me with simple, unnecessary matters. I'm too worried about what this person said and, how, and what this person did and how this person made me feel and how I let this person know what's up. And, and it's like, how long are we going to do that? How long are we going to do that? I had to really just learn this lesson because, and I'm still learning it. I'm still learning this lesson after all these years. And... You know, it's funny. I never thought, I never, never thought my, I would be saying this. But, yo, my mother was right. She said that when I was younger, I was way too into people. And I didn't really understand what she meant when she said that because I was like, what are you talking about? And now that I'm older, I'm seeing exactly what she's talking about. I, you know, I'm going I'm to do some work on myself. I'm going to do some therapy on myself to figure out, like, Okay, what what is the reason? What is the root? You know, I'm such a let's solve the problem. I'm a therapist, y'all. I'm such a let's figure it out. Let's try to understand the problem. Let's try to fix and rectify the issue and then move forward. But one thing about this life, baby, it's always going to be problems. It's always going to be issues. It's always going to be people that try you. It's always going to be things that distract you. It's always going to be something that play on your time. It's always going to be something. So you're going to stop every time something gets in your way? You're going to stop every time there's a roadblock? You're going to stop every time someone pisses you off or you are in your feelings and you want to scroll your life away or you want to hop on this vice to distract the pain that you feel? How many times are we going to fucking do it? How many times are we going to keep doing that? How many times are we going to keep sabotaging what it is that we know we need to do in order to see the life that we want? How many times are we going to keep doing that? How many times are we going to keep destructing our own selves until we finally wake up and realize, what the fuck am I doing? Hmm? And I'm yelling at myself because I need this. Gee, how long are we going to fucking sit here and do this? How long are we going to keep doing this? How long are we going to keep putting our dreams on hold because we're too worried about so-and-so or we're too distracted by such-and-such or we just want to numb this pain or we just want... How long are we going to fucking do it? How long are we going to keep doing that? When are we going to get up and do what it is that we know we need to do? You crying about, oh, at this point in my life or at this, at this stage of my life, I should be doing this or I should be here or I should be experiencing that. Well, mama, what work have you done? Because the only work I've seen you do was be too worried about everybody fucking else. You've been too worried about everybody fucking else. Not saying that you shouldn't have any heart or care for other people. Not saying that you shouldn't, again, try to resolve any issues that need resolving. But you know when it's some situations that are just like, baby, I toss that shit behind me and keep it fucking moving because I got things to do. When we gonna start? When we gonna start stepping into that energy? When we gonna start moving with that type of energy, with that type of mentality, with that type of that passion for what it is that we know we need to do? Hmm. Are we just gonna continue to sit here and soak in our feelings like, oh, what was me? Oh, I wish. Da -da -da -da. How long? Hmm. So. I'm not going to sit here and keep trying to, you know, beat a dead horse. But I think that this message is for somebody. I know it for sure is for me. And so if it's for me, I know it's for somebody else. The life that you are waiting on isn't going to come. 
by you being distracted, being discouraged all the time, being just down in the dumps, soaking in your feelings all the time, is going to actually come with you doing the work. It's going to come with you actually getting up and doing the work. <laughs> I was telling my homegirl, I said that I have to tell myself, fuck your feelings. And I hate saying that as a therapist because I'm all about this process of feelings. But when it comes to getting to where it is that you know you are supposed to be, you have to fuck what you feel. For real. We can process the feelings after the work is done. <laughs> If you know you have a to-do list of things that you really want to get done, you need to complete that nowhere, no matter what it is that you feel. You have to learn to push yourself past the pain, past the feelings of depression or discouragement, and show up. Show up. I literally just had to force myself up out of bed and turn this camera on because God has been putting the word on me to get on this camera and share with myself and then with you guys have to get up and you have to do the work we could process the feelings later in a journal or with a therapist or with a homegirl but as of right now you got to get up or you could be the type of person that needs to get all those feelings out in a journal with a homegirl and let her speak life back into you maybe you got to watch a, a video get that life back into you do the work and then we cry about it later but you keep crying, you keep staying down, you keep being stuck, you keep staying depressed, you keep being negative, you keep being angry. Then you wake up and realize why your life is still the fucking same. So no, no more. We can't do that no more. We gotta get up. We have to get up. We have to get up and do the work. No more excuses. <laughs>